Hello everyone. In this tutorial I will show you few ways to put arrow in video sequencer like this uh, in Blender 2.8. In Blender it seems harder to make these arrows at the beginning but if you pass this first challenge you will see it's not hard as it seems and the better side of Blender is that it's not limiting your imagination. Firstly we open a new Blender. Uh, to design a few arrows let's make our charming nice looking arrow This work may seem to you as a useless hard work, but once you have done few arrows like this, you can use them for all of works in future with little arrangements. Now let's edit in shade editor After arranging your shaders as in your mind, you can put keyframes on position line of color ramp to simulate it. I added keyframes, now it's time to render with transparent background. For this you need to tweak some settings. Before that let's add a camera top of it. For this you can just click Ctrl Alt 0 after adding camera. Then you can fit camera view to a row. Render this as transparent background video. First, in output menu, we will choose FFP MPEG video, and in encoding line, choose QuickTime, and in the video codec panel, Q2 animation. And don't forget to choose RGBA, means alpha. And in the render menu, go down to film panel and enable transparent option. Now we can render our arrow after setting our output folder. We can do some quick simple arrows to use them in unsignificant places by using grease pencil or simple plane work. Don't forget to enable RGBA in output panel and transparent in film tab in render panel. 
before rendering your image. Now it's time to use our arrows. First we are adding a video or an image sequence. To speed, speed it up uh, our work make a video or a image sequence proxy in proxy panel on the right. Firstly we can import our arrow video. has a transparent background as you see, but its shape should be managed by transform script. By pressing shift A we are adding the script and on the right we can adjust its properties. You can adjust its opacity to see its back. You can mirror it on X on Y axis. You can crop uh, the arrow from left, right, top or, uh, and bottom but as you can see the cropping is not as I wish uh, to do it more properly you should also enable the offset option here uh, as you can see the arrow is cropped from the right and from the top but left and bottom is not uh, worked now uh, but sometimes it's, for, it's working sometimes it's not working I also don't know how it's uh, managed properly on the effect script you can uh, change its position on X and Y axis uh, and you can scale it also in on the X and Y axis uh, and you can change its rotation in this way you can place it in the right position on the scene also you can insert keyframes on these properties uh, to make it look make it uh, make your animation look better uh, and also you can insert keyframes on the opacity uh, option opacity properties uh, you by inserting the keyframe on the opacity you can fade uh, the arrow out and fade the uh, arrow in you can also add uh, the arrow uh, we said as image uh, before and we can change, change its color uh, by adding a transform script uh, and then uh, changing the saturation and uh, mo uh, multiply uh, options and uh, you can also uh, change the uh, in blend type in compositing menu uh, you can choose uh, one of them you can put these arrows in a new folder for your arrows and stuff like this to use them whenever you want in video sequencer or any tutorial. Now I will try to show you another method to put arrow in your scene. The method I will show you can be used not just for uh, an arrow. You can force limits to your limits of your imagination. First, we should add a new scene. 
you can just create new but if you copy settings you won't need to adjust all rendering settings again then you should add a layout workspace I already added you can add like this then we need to insert a camera on the center uh, from the top is preferred then you can add whatever you want in front of the camera then just force your imagination power but now I will append my arrow work that was already ready you can see its charming animation is also appended now our options are unlimited you can rotate it by any axis now the only disadvantage of this is I couldn't figure it, figure it out how to make visible both scenes together to place arrow easily You can also insert a keyframe to your camera location. You also don't need to get permission for that. Now let me show you how to combine these scenes, how to insert this scene to our sequencer. First choose our sequencer scene again, then choose the frame you want to insert, the, then press add and choose the scene. As you can see the inserted arrow doesn't have a transparent background, that's why we can see our video. So go back to our scene again and in the render tab go find the transparent option and enable it you can also add transform script and manage its properties as you wish and i want to show you a quick tip that most of us forget to use it you can also insert keyframe to your re enable disabled render options to make it start or stop render and make visible in any frame you want finally i will show you adding a character on the video it's so easy just append it and animate it on the on the other scene and add sequen sequencer just like that if you can see your changes in sequencer press shift r to refresh your sequencer if you see your scene in solid view you can press uh, N on the preview uh, page and uh, you can find the scene preview options you can uh, choose other settings from the solid one thanks for watching